All right, thank you very much, John. Fans, first of all, welcome to the Coors Event Center for tonight's exciting game between your CU Golden Buffaloes and the ninth-ranked Arizona Wildcats. This is your Walters and Hogsett pregame show, and I, of course, am DJ Beds. Now, before we can look ahead to tonight's game, we need to take a look back to the week that was. We saw the Buffs head on down to Southern California to take on the USC Trojans and the UCLA Bruins. They fought extremely hard, although in the end, they were not able to come out on top. We're gonna take a look up now at Buff Vision and see exactly what went down in Southern California. Transition basketball by the Buffalo. That spot down. Dalton left wide, wide open, and he buries his first shot. Good inside. Collier puts on the brakes, back door. Josh Scott, left hand finish. Good execution. A little two man game. A back cut by Scott. A good delivery with the bounce pass. All for attacking Scott's feet off the bounce. Allowed Welsh to get in there for that offensive rebound. Collier straight away three. A shooter, the transfer from Providence, played on their NCAA tournament team based on what's available. Colorado trying to get Scott more involved in the paint. Here is Fortune from the wing, and he hits it. He's a decoy, and he's willing to share the sugar, set up his teammates for easy looks. Fortune baseline jumper fade away, and he cans it. He's got ball seven. movement back to Scott. Parker right on his hip, the left hand rattles it through. I love Scott's very effective. Skip pass. Pretty if he finish. Here's King. Watch out all the way to the rim. Talk about climbing the ladder. Up, up, and away. An opportunity to see them tomorrow in the games. Galen said, looking forward to that. Gullivan just got a fight UCLA. Catch 22, he'll get high level prospects. The N1, low post catch by Josh Scott. Had to heave it up with the shot clock expiring. Dalton to Gordon. Foul. It'll count. One of the few easy baskets for the Buffaloes tonight. Foul on Holiday. Played in four games tonight. I like his confidence. Why not launch one up to the, up to the, up to the cloud? Dalton had three of those in the first half. And with that, you know, the Buffs are glad to be home in the friendly confines of the event center, hoping to get some of that positive momentum back tonight versus the Wildcats. Next up, we're going to take a little look at the statistical comparison between these two teams. Here's what you need to know about Arizona. They are a very efficient, very good offensive squad. They have a trio of players that average at least 14 points a game, highlighted by Ryan Anderson, who himself averages a double-double, so the Buffs are going to have to put the clamps down on defense tonight, contest a lot of shots, and make sure that Arizona gets nothing easy. If they can do that, look forward to a very close, very exciting game. Up next is our player profile. We're going to head back to Buff Vision and see a little bit more in depth about what's going on with senior guard Brett Brady. It's gone by so fast. You put a lot of hard work in, you kind of realize kind of how how much it actually means and how important the times have been, kind of just spending time together. All your memories are just play, being with former other teammates, even guys in the, that you've played with in the past, uh, especially when you've been in a program for four years, you meet all kinds of people. Fires and trades it from downtown. Brett Brady from downtown. How about that? The walk-on comes in and drops it from the right wing. Probably one of the best experiences, especially when it's pretty packed for big games. So there's nothing like it. XJ plays the ball in a book or turns down to two, down to one. Fires on the buzzer, and it's in! And it's in! A stay of Booker! A runner as time expired! As far as Team success, I'll always remember the Kansas game. Um, and then for myself, this year, going into the first half of a few of the earlier games. 
I, I'm an applied math major, uh, and I've been doing a quantitative finance part, but what I kind of actually want to do is, after I graduate, go get like a teaching certificate. All right, fans, that's going to wrap it up for the pre-game show. As you can see tonight is our blackout game. Huge game for the bus night. Not only important in terms of the Pac-12 standings, but ultimately, potentially, in the eyes of the NCAA selection committee as well. So we're going to need you loud, loud, loud from the second we tip off all the way into the last buzzer. Let's get rowdy. Let's have a good time. And let's help our buffs to victory tonight. You've been watching the Walters and Hogshead pregame show. I'm DJ Beds. Let's go Bus.